For this project, you'll need a half a cup of tap water, string, I'm using cord, so I'm going to see what the difference between string and cord is since I don't have string home. You'll also need a pencil or a popsicle stick, half a cup of salt, I'm using Epsom salt because it works really well with growing crystals, a pot, so I'm using a small pot since we don't need a, a whole lot of water or salt, and a clear container. Now I'm using two clear containers because I'm going to see the difference between leaving one of them out on the counter and putting one in the refrigerator. So I'll be doing a half of a cup of water and a half a cup of salt in each of those containers. Your first step is going to be to boil your water. So an adult might need to help the younger kids. So just pour your half a cup of water into your pot and wait for the bubbles to start. Once your water is boiling, you're going to turn it off and move it to a spot on your stove that the burner is not hot. And then I'm going to pour in my salt. I'm gonna do it a little bit at a time and then I'm going to stir it and see if I need to add more. I ended up adding in all of my salt after adding a little bit each time and then stirring it. You wanna make sure that you can still see through your water so it's clear. Mine is a little bit tinted white, but that's okay because I can still see through it. And you want to make sure that you can still see some salt on the bottom of your pan. Now, if you end up not being able to see your salt, just add a little bit more, but definitely do it step by step. So add a little bit, stir it up, add a little bit more, stir it up, and so on and so forth. The next thing that you're going to do is take your water and pour it into your clear container. Now you wanna make sure that none of the salt that's at the bottom of your pot gets into this container. So make sure that you do this really slowly and ask an adult if you need help. After you have all of your water in your clear container, you're going to tie your string around your pencil or popsicle stick. You wanna make sure that this string doesn't hit the bottom of your container and that it just hits the top of the water. You also wanna make sure that it doesn't hit the sides of the container when you put it in here because that'll make the crystals grow a little funky. So I'm just going to dip it into the water and adjust it so that it's not hitting the sides of the container. And there we go. Now I'm going to leave this one on the counter and I'm going to make another one and I'm going to put that one in the refrigerator. This is from my first one, so the one that looks like it has more water in it, and this is from my second one. This one doesn't have as much of the crystals attached to the string, and I think it's because I didn't have a whole lot of the string in my container, so a lot of it kind of just developed around the bottom of the container itself, whereas... My first one, I had my string in the water halfway down. So most of the crystals formed on the string itself. 